guys, we're back on our deck profile, and today uh, this is going to be a pretty big, interesting deck profile. Um, I got my Reptilian deck for you guys that I've been working on for the last few weeks. Um, this is uh, pretty much a fun deck, uh, so if, if it's pretty much like if you ever wanted to have a deck that was pretty interesting in concept and focuses on trying to make your opponent's attack zero and plus some of it, well this is your the deck for you, I guess. And it's also a Reptile deck, which kind of piggybacks off what, I, what my last video was but uh yeah it's actually really fun um it's my favorite reptile deck and it's actually pretty fun to play i mean it's not that I mean, sadly it's not that competitive but that doesn't really matter really to me i just have fun with it but yeah uh hope you guys enjoy this and let's get right in so to start off you got your your main level one three reptilian naga Naga is pretty much the basis of your plays. Uh, with her, she cannot be destroyed by battle, and the attack of any monster this, that battles this card becomes zero at the end of the turn, or in the battle phase, I mean. And then during the end phase, change this face up de uh, defense position monster on the field to face up attack position. So she's pretty much the basis of your plays. If you open her turn, turn one, you kind of want to put her face down some most of the time, but if you have to, you might have to crash into something, sadly. And yeah, it's. Not that it's not a bad card. Basis of your plays, you always want to open it. And also, she's level one, so she can get into Link Karibo, which is also really nice. But yeah, always at, run at three. Another card you always want to run at three. Three Reptilian Gardna. Reptilian Gardna. It's pretty much your searcher. So when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, add one Reptilian monster from deck to hand. It's pretty simple. So. Not that bad. I like it a lot. It's it, it, there's a multiple ways this could go off if, she, this, if it's destroyed by any means. So battle card effect. It's also it's really nice. So yeah, it's not that bad. So I, 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 nothing really I need to say about it. It's a searcher, run at three, obviously. Then next, your main tuner, archetypal tuner, three viper. This is debatable. You could play this at two. Uh, and get get by just as fine. I want to run it at three just because I wanted to see it very often But yeah, so with, basically with him uh, when this car is normal summon you can select or well, select will target and Take control of one face-up monster with zero attack your opponent controls This is really nice because you if you got your zero attack stuff going off and you make your opponents attack zero You get to pretty much take their monsters and use them as material if you if they have their correct level really so that's nice. Uh, I usually never really got into that very much. Uh, I usually just used him for basic single plays with monsters I had on my side of the field most of the time because this deck is kind of struggles at getting their effects off when it trying to make your opponent's attack zero. It kind of struggles sometimes, but uh, it's really nice when this uh, really nice tuner. Um, I wish it was one level lower, but it's whatever. It's the main tuner. Run at three or two, per, per, depending on preference. Another card, depending on preference, uh, three Skila. I run him at three because of I run a Kage to Kage in this deck because try to get to King of the Feralimps really fast because King of the Feralimps is pretty much a Reptile Rota. So that's mostly why uh, Skila's at three. Skila, if you guys don't know, uh, this card destroys a monster of battle with zero attack. You can special summon that monster to the, from the graveyard to your side of the field in face up defensive position. The effects of that monster is negated. So it's kind of a Goyo Guardian esque effect. 1800 attack, not that bad, but it's sad that you have to destroy a zero attack monster, but that's the whole point of this deck. So, other than that, not that bad. Level 4, pretty good. Uh, then on to a level 6 Reptilia Medusa. This is your tribute monster. Uh, send one card with her send one card from your hand to the graveyard and target one face-up monster your opponent controls the attack of that selected monster becomes zero and it cannot change its battle position so not that not bad it's really nice it sucks though because sometimes though because one is a tribute monster and two your board presence has to kind of stay the entire game for her to come out and you be used effectively but I've gotten her effect off pretty decently enough so she's really nice and uh, she's Mostly strictly one of you could bomb over to two if you really wanted to but I wanted her to be at one and then pretty much one of the better boss monsters in the deck and Sadly, I have to run one proxy of her because I had a I don't know where she, the second one went so <laughs> Apologies for that, but two run two Vosky. I played with two Vosky at the tournament I was at two days ago, so I don't know where the second one went Maybe it, it's around in my room somewhere, and I dropped it somewhere, but 
regardless to Vosky. Uh, she's really nice. She's pretty much a kaiju for yourself. So this card cannot be normal summon or set. This card cannot be special summon except by tributing two face-up monsters with zero attack from anywhere on the field. Once per turn, you can target and destroy one face-up monster your opponent controls. There can only be only one Vosky in the field. So she's nice. It's pretty much the best boss monster in the deck because she can just free tribute removal and also it can be anywhere on the field. So she's very versatile and I don't think running more than two is optimal. I think running two is fine. I think that's the perfect number. So on the non-reptilian monsters, three Kage to Kage. Uh, this is strictly here to get into King of the Feralimps as quickly as I can because King of the Feralimps is nice for getting searches. Not much needs to be said about him. One Mask Chameleon, uh, level four tuner. So this is actually really nice. It actually fits in this deck really nice. Uh, so Earth, level four tuner. Cannot be normal summon, you control a level 5 or higher monster. When this card is normal summon, you can target one monster with zero defense in your graveyard. Special summon that target and face up defense position. Its effects are negated. You cannot special summon from any other monsters except from the extra deck during the turn you have to its effect. But he's really nice. And then last monster in the deck, one evil dragon, Ananta. Just another boss monster, to be honest with you. Uh, with him, you can banish pretty much... This card cannot be normal summon or set. He cannot be special summon except by removing from play all reptile monsters from your side of the field and graveyard and this attack and defense are equal to the number of monsters you've removed times 600 and then in each of phases he has a mandatory effect to destroy, destroy one card in the field so he's great he's just a big beater for the most part and he's actually a pretty surprising boss monster if you get your grave and field set up to the point where he's virtually unstoppable all right now onto spell cards your main one of your main spells three reptilian spawn this is great because you could banish a reptilian Sorry for the glare there. I don't know why the glare is going on. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, sorry. Remove and play one reptilian monster from your graveyard. Special summon two reptilian tokens. Re reptile type, earth, level one, tag zero, zero. This is mostly here for link plays for the most part, which is really nice. I love this card. It fits in so much with the deck, and, yeah, it's just really good. It helps with so much... Uh, for the deck with Viper and just link plays in general. Then next, a uh, bit of a bit of a weird draw card. Uh, three Pod Duality. I might take this out for our Lord of Darkness, but for now I was trying Pod Duality. It put in its work, I guess, but wasn't really that bad uh, for most of the time. So it's okay. It's good in certain situations, but bad in others. But I might take it out for a Lord though. Then next to Scapegoat. Scapegoat's great, uh, just because it gets this deck off its feet and turn one bar load is one card bar load is always nice. Nothing to be said about that. Dark Eruption and Recurring Nightmare for pretty much just recovery. Uh, Dark Re Dark Eruption adds a 1500 less attack Dark Monster from graveyard to hand, and in Recurring Nightmare targets two Dark Monsters with zero te defense in the graveyard and add them to the hand. So just recur. Recurring options to get them back to hand helps recycle your Voskis, helps recycle pretty much every, everything in the deck with these two. And then next, three Snake Whistle. Snake Whistle is great because uh, whenever your mon reptile monster you control is destroyed, special summon one level four or lower reptile from deck. Pretty much get to get help get your reptiles out. That's pretty much the basis of this card. Not much needs to be said. It's pretty simple. Next. Two damage equals reptile. This is an okay card. So basically, with this, once per turn, you can target you, you, when you take battle damage from battle involving a reptile monster. You can special summon one reptile monster from your deck with attack less than or equal to the battle damage you took. He's nice, or this is nice because uh, it helps with Naga. Because if you take damage with Naga, you can pretty much get a plus off of it, and you also get your monster that opponent's monster to zero. So it's not bad of a card. I used it quite a bit, fair bit in testing and playing against other people, so it's actually not that bad. Next, two storming, because this deck has a lot of little monsters and you wanna keep them on the field, so storming is helps a lot. Then, a bit of a tech card here, two Ghost of the Grudge. Ghost of, the, Ghost of a Grudge, your opponent has any more cards in their graveyard, the attack of all monsters your opponent controls becomes zero. Which is really good because it's kind of a blowout. So if your opponent has like built up a board and they have pretty much 
eight or more cards in the graveyard, play this, all their monsters are zero, and your plays can just go off. Then last card in the, in the deck is Solemn Warning, because Warning's nice and just negates a summon. So, yep, 40 card main deck. On to now the extra deck. First off, two Hydra, your personal synchro. Uh, with this, it's a level six, and when this card is synchro summoned, destroy all face-up monsters with zero attack in your opponent controls, and draw one card for each monster destroyed. Never went into him very much. I've gotten into him a few times, but never really got his effect off. So he's just mostly here just to synchro climb sometimes, but whenever his effect does go off, it's actually really nice because you get to draw some cards. Then on to a level four. I'll, it has store. Has store is nice because just just for shenanigans and it's a low level synchro and it's also a reptile. Then one Armades. Armades is nice because well, if this card attacks or is attacked, your opponent can act, cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. I think that's really nice. It gives you a guaranteed hit in mostly, and it's also a nice synchro climber because uh, it's level five and just pretty decent level five. Brionic uh, for the level 6. Beals for a level 8. Uh, one of the level 8s. Uh, it's because since uh, Viper's a Dark Tuner, it gives us access to Beals, and Beals is really nice. Crystal Wing for negations, and that's it for Synchros. The only two Xyz in the deck. Two King of the Fair Limps because searching reptiles is always nice. On to Lynx. One, we Witch is Apprentice because everything is basically dark and giving them a big, nice 500 attack boost is really nice. Link Karibo because Naga is level 1 and can get into it pretty effectively. And then, uh, and also Scapegoat as well. Two, Link Spider because, and one, Lin Farinkus, mostly for the um, Scapegoat play to get into Boral Load here. So yeah, that is the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is basically pretty much a fun deck if you ever wanted to have just, just fun at locals and goof around with a pretty interesting concept of a deck. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have any questions or any improvements if uh, that you think I should make. And yeah, uh, leave a like, comment, definitely subscribe, and I should see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.